It's a little different. The fuel tank is 6.1 gallons. It's got like road bike gauges. I mean, obviously the plastics and stuff. Um, I mean, it's a lot. The engine is KLR, but it's just a little bit different. Like, I got friends that got KLRs. They just swear by them things. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a, it's a real reliable motor. It's real smooth. Right. They ride them everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I've had KLR guys. I that, mean, they go on trails. They go on the highway. They go. I mean, they ride literally. They ride them everywhere. Yeah, I, I have I have a couple of friends of mine that have KLRs. They would kill me for these plastic disc brake guards and things, you know, that are on this bike. The KLR didn't come with a lot of that kind of stuff, especially like back in the day. Well, even the new ones. Yeah, even the new ones. Yeah. Yeah. The new ones they put a little different bearings on it, but. Yeah, that thing's neat. And you're selling it. What's that? And you're selling it. Yeah, I've owned it for like a year. Um, I've, I've owned a lot of rare bikes over the years. I, I've been down here like a couple years now looking for rare bikes. Yeah, it's in good shape, too. Wow. Neat, ain't it? I think that's the first one I've ever seen. And I I've never even heard of this bike before. The 120 Kawasaki TR. That's a pretty motorcycle. It's like a time warp bike. <laughs> This is what they call the Kenny Roberts Special. Even though it's a sort of a small bike, a 350, this thing, you can almost lean it over sideways like a MotoGP bike. This thing is fast, trust me. This bike will embarrass five, 600, maybe even 750s. It's got as, almost as much power as them and it handles better. <coughs> It's like I got T, that old T500 and whatever I got. It's a neat old bike, you know, but it doesn't have the disc brakes, you know. You know, it's not as light either. That's where this thing got it right. Some of those old two-stroke bikes, they had the power, but they were sort of pigs. They were heavy. They had bad brakes. They are drum brakes all the way around. This one's got about 50 horsepower, and weighs 352 pounds. See, there you go. So it'll run on a good day if the temperature's right, it'll crack one turn. They were a lot more reliable. If the temperature's real hot, you wouldn't start yeah. with about 125. It's not as fast as I need to go. Yeah, me too. Once I went down far enough, I said, okay, I'm going to get it. Got my t shirt, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they look good, don't they? Yeah, that thing's awesome. Mike's got one of these Daytona 400. Well, maybe they're uh, survivors. I think the T500s like that. They were uh, built well, and most of them are still floating around somewhere. Last weekend over in Ohio, Southern Ohio, yeah. Toronto, Ohio. Is that called. the BSA Club? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, nice. the Toronto, Ohio, the yeah. Ohio Valley BSA Owners Group, or something like that. And they had a, they had trials, and they Cabina had a, runs it, I think. Carrie Cabina or Bud Cabina? I don't know. Is... Yeah, they got like all kinds of streams you got to ride through. Yep. Yep. And it's like uh, yeah, they do it's it. like a minefield except with water because you yeah. you go through the stream and you think you're fine but you hit a deep spot. Talk <laughs> about Toronto. Oh yeah, I've been there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I rode there. Yeah. yeah. And it's like you know I was First doing I fine till I go down that stream and I I rode where you shouldn't. Have. I should have followed somebody else. Yeah. That's what the one guy was talking about with the greaves he did. He did a greaves. Man. He got a. Now where were 
these when I was a kid. Well, that's the that's the problem is uh, and Honda Forks you can't put emulators in. Uh, oh, okay. Music okay. And, oh, so you need these for a Honda? Yeah. These are going to go in a Honda. Okay. Um, and the brakes, yeah, it's, it has to be a drum brake. Period drum brake. So is that, that's for that class here. Yeah, the 350 Sportsman class. Yeah. It's the, it's the high, most highly regulated class there is. The rules are good ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. <laughs> And the force is a race bike. Race. I yeah. see the number. I, 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 yeah, I saw the number. Yeah. It's up for race already. Yeah. 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 That's all you need. My number right over on her. <laughs> You gotta watch because a lot of times you buy them and they say it's for this, but then they don't quite fold up right. And the mount tags are off a little bit. So, so. Yep. 125 dollars for this one. 25 for that. This one's gonna be 50 bucks, man. No. Except for After all, isn't Honda sort of the company that killed the two strokes? Well, they made a lot of two stroke dirt bikes. Right. Well, that's why it's sort of ironic that <laughs> they made some of the best ones. Yeah. But then when it came, well, they were the ones that were pushing the rules to change to uh, go to four strokes. A lot of people didn't realize Sears made motorcycles. Hell, Sears sold cars. See, I didn't know that either. Henry James, they sold Sears cattle. Yeah, it's got an old tag on it. Probably been a few years since that's been ridden. But, well, that looked like fresh oil in the pipes. I, I was riding it around today. Well, it was you? Yeah. I didn't run some drive. Is it a two-stroke? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's the oil in the pipes then, right? Wow. Pretty cool.